Hello all. All right, it's been a while since we've done any kind of peak oil update. Uh, there's some unfortunate news coming out, as I knew eventually there would be. It looks like we're approaching the backside of peak oil faster and faster. We're actually slightly going over the edge. And I know I said that last time. I said we were slightly going over the edge, and then the fracking thing happened, and it kind of pushed it off a little bit. But now we're truly going off the edge. Uh, let's look at the numbers people. Let's just take the U.S. fracking fields for instance. There are two large fracking fields, the Bakken and the Eagle Ford. So let's go look at those two and find out what's going on with production and the whole nine yards. Let's start with the ba Bakken, the Bakken oil fields. They're down 25 percent from their peak in 2014. They used to pump 1.26 million barrels per day of fracking oil out of that area. That is now down to 942 barrels per day. All right, let's go and talk about the Eagle Ford. It's down 40% from 1,708,000 barrels per day to 1,026,000 barrels per day. I think you can kind of see the writing on the wall. They're peaked out. The unfortunate thing is, is that we've built a lot of infrastructure around this nonsense. Pipes, which I've shown you in previous videos, pipelines and train lines and just going at this stuff. But the big news is that fracking hasn't paid off. It hasn't made the investors any money. And this is exactly why. Let's say you have a pot of oil and you need to get a pot of oil out of the fracking fields. How much of that regular pot of oil, the wherever it came from, is sitting there? How much of that is gonna be used in energy getting that other pot of oil out of the ground? That's known as efficiency. <laughs> well, fracking oil has never had any efficiency at all. It is now down to 15% is all they get out of that second pot of oil. It takes an entire pot to get 15% more than what they put into it that's it all that the, all the pollution they pumped into the ground all the roads they built the platforms all that piping they put in the ground exposing all the aquifers to uh, pollution after time eventually all that stuff will rust away and it will indeed pollute the aquifers i don't know where anybody gets the idea that it, it doesn't pollute the aquifers it's luta chris not including all the air pollution of using these fossil fuels to get these other fossil fuels out and into the processing plant and then to market all that takes fossil fuel in reality does any of it make it out there? Or is it just a complete waste fracking? And that's just here in the US. This is gonna happen all over the world. But the scary thing is, is the decline rate. It's so fast that people in the US haven't got a clue this is coming. And they've been buying the biggest SUVs they can buy regardless of the fuel mileage because of the low gas prices at this time. Ludicrous thinking, but that's what we're, we're, we're right now we're just selling big SUVs like pancakes, polluting the air more, just going in the wrong direction and we're coming on to an oil crisis like no other. I have been reading over the year about an oil crisis coming and I just kept thinking it was just guesswork and not real reality. But now I'm pretty convinced that the, uh, the big oil crunch is right around the corner, not too far now. Uh, we're also ramping up for war, a, a major war with China and, and Russia and you know, possibly the entire Middle East. I don't know what has gotten into these leaders head, but Donald Trump is actually calling for more use of fossil fuel and coal burning. Unbelievable. 
the ignorance in these politicians had all right let's go over let's go over to Saudi Arabia now they were trying to get up to 12 billion barrels per day in oil but they've never managed to do that they've only gotten up to 10.67 billion barrels per day and that's what they're at now but here's the issue with Saudi Arabia you see they've been saying they've been having the same amount of oil for years now if you go back to our very first videos you'll see that it's not too far from 10 they've only gone up about uh, 900,000 barrels they've obviously reached their peak it's just how long they can stretch it out and this is what I mean you can add tons of water to oil and emulsify it together and sell that as usable oil and when it goes to refinery all the water just evaporates away but in the refining process the oil that you got will expand to about 1.5 percent of the the oil that you started with it actually increases but Saudi Arabia has so much water in their oil I bet that that increase is going to be so small that, that the uh, refineries are going to notice it pretty soon that you know they're probably on the back side of their peak and they're actually just filling that void with seawater I don't think it's going to last for long and once that scam has been figured out, watch out. It's probably at the very end of, of the uh, plateau of peak oil and we're headed downward. There just isn't enough money in the fracking fields to, to make that worth it and they're having a hard time making deep oil wells work as well. So we're back to whatever they can get off of the land of regular oil which peaked some time ago back in 2005. Uh, there should be some more news coming out about this in the next few months. I'll keep you updated. All right, guys, I appreciate all the uh, comments on the last videos, and the new subscribers are still coming in. I really appreciate that. Not many went and saw the uh, last video, so go check that one out. Don't let the, the title fool you. It was a good video. It's worth going and seeing. Anyway, I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. Until next time.